On this episode of The Growing Classroom, we are learning to mulch. Mulch provides lots of benefits to your garden. It helps improve your soil quality, regulates soil temperature, helps retain moisture, reduces weed growth, and overall looks nice. Having said this, there are some wrong ways to mulch, so let's learn to do it right. When mulching, the first thing you want to do is to check the current conditions of your bed. Mine is overgrown and leafy. Remove any leaves or old mulch from the bed. This will allow room for the new mulch, then weed the bed. Mulch helps prevent weeds, so weeding the bed gives this a jump start. At this point, it is good to water your soil. If you've had rain recently, you might not need to do this. The mulch will then help retain this moisture and regulate the temperature of the soil. Now you're ready to start mulching. If you're using bags of mulch, empty them into small piles in your garden. If you're using bulk mulch, place small piles of mulch among the beds. This will help distribute the mulch, making the spreading process easier. Spread the mulch out throughout the bed. You want your mulch to be about two inches deep. Don't push the mulch right up to the plants. Mulch should never touch the trunk or stem of a plant as this can suffocate the plant. Instead, leave a little distance between the plant and the mulch. If you aren't using edging, you also want to keep a divot between the edge of your turf and the mulch. This will stop the grass from spreading into your bed. Mulching around trees is much the same process, but here it is really important to stay away from the trunk as this can cause roots to grow up and twist around the trunk, eventually strangling the tree. So now this garden has been successfully mulched. Now it's your turn to give it a go.